Welcome to Pitch in the Zone, a weekly gathering of coaches that meet once a week to help a presenter with a three minute pitch. Our coaches include Nathan Gold, a high stakes presentation coach from San Francisco, Scotty Spursum, a language coach also from San Francisco, Michael Marchak, an investor and CTO joining us from Chicago. From Boston, we have Rick Pollack, a presentation coach, and Massimo Peroncelli, a serial entrepreneur, joining us from Thailand. Our presenter this week is Mohamed Agababai, and he will show us an investor pitch for Insurmatics. Mohamed, welcome to Pitch in the Zone, and please set up your slides. And when you are ready, the floor is yours. So, uh, the, sorry. Uh, the margin in home insurance uh, market is extremely low, lack of expertise to lead to, uh, digital transformation initiatives, and low effectiveness of marketing uh, for home insurance. This uh, problem uh, creates an opportunity to build a successful business. Thus, we offer a white label hardware software solution for a smart home insurance for insurance companies of any size. In other words, Insurmatics democratize IoT base, IoT services for insurance companies uh, for overcoming the mentioned problems. At this time, we provide a smart IoT based services for fire alarm panels for a smoke detector, because at this time, uh, people are more likely to purchase or buy a smart a smoke detector for an insurance discount. And our future plan is to provide a comprehensive local platform that is able to connect to every any device with any brand. And uh, we provide the revolutionary approach uh, because we are not insurance companies. We are not a smart home vendor. We are only the interface between smart home vendors and insurance companies. And our mystery to do so to a scale of our prog uh, product is to using local platform, which enable insurer to build the, their own uh, application uh, without need of us. A smart uh, home market is at accelerating pace with 30% uh, CAGR. This is very high. And uh, there is the, uh, we face with a high uh, demand for a smart uh, home insurance. Uh, and we are trying to fill this gap uh, by Insurmatics innovative solution. We uh, design three business model, selling a house level partner, commission from partner, and subscription charging from the insurer uh, of uh, the using of their customers. And our journey was started in late 2020. And at, uh, at this time we focus uh, to find a new early adapter and a strategic partner. And we are at a pre-seed round and this is our offering. This is our team and our current partner in US, in Europe, and in the Middle East. Thank you so much. All right, all right. Mohammed, congratulations to a good pitch. This is your first attempt here at Pitch in the Zone. I felt you had an eye on the time and you realized that you were running out of time. And that's why at the very end, you just, you know, went through the slides at a very, very fast pace. But in general, a good pitch, good first attempt. Let me open the round of feedback today with Michael. Michael, you also posted a couple of comments in the chat. Please take it from here. Sure. So I, I thought the slides were very attractive. I'm sure Massimo is going to provide some commentary on that. So I'm not going to go too much into that. Um, your pitch itself uh, didn't uh, strike me as someone who was very confident in what you're doing. You provide a lot of information about the market and you and some of the issues around it. Um, the 
what I was looking at from an investor perspective, you kind of blew through at the end, which is, it looks like you may or may not have a contract with someone right now, because on your timeline, you showed an MGP contract, something. And then as I was trying to read it, you blew to the next one where you show the offering amount. And then within a second, you went to the next slide and I didn't even have a chance to look at it. So I'm not really sure what you mm. what you have there. Um, I like the idea that you did bring out the concept of the three different types of, of revenue streams that you're working with within um, your platform. Um, it would be nice to know what kind of breakdown you would have for that to understand where the, the, the majority of the funding is coming in, how you're putting your current investments uh, and, and what you would ask for in your second ask um, to work in light of those three things. Are you doing more hardware now? Are you looking more at uh, um, you know, licensing? How is the subscription model working? Um, how many insurance companies have you worked with? Have you talked with them, et cetera? So the other part of it was when you talked about the team, I didn't really get a sense of who you were to be coming up with this stuff to know if this was a you know a good bet or not. So I didn't hear any credentials specifically from you on on saying you know we've done this before. We've got a background in this. We're working with three electrical engineers who've who've got on chip experience, et cetera, et cetera. So I wasn't really sure how that fit together with that um, mm -hmm. to know what your experience is in that. But um, again, I think the the presentation itself is attractive. Maybe we need to pull a couple of slides out less on the, on the broader market because, you know, you could say the global market is $100 trillion for everything that people buy. And we're going to take, you zoom into something else, then it, it doesn't matter when the numbers are so big, it doesn't really make, make a difference. When you're looking at this, we, I'd rather see what insurance market, if you're not sure you're headed towards, what they would pay for these type of IoT devices and how you would be able to, to work your way within that type of market space. Because we know that they have them now for automobiles and whatnot. How are you addressing that sort of thing? So overall, good first pass. I would love to see you tell me about the product, not the script that you have prepared though. So maybe that's another thing we can talk about a little bit later. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Great mm -hmm. feedback as always. Thank you, Michael. Moving on to Rick. Rick, what kind of feedback do you have? Okay. Uh I was a bit confused on what it was. I think you have around 10 minutes of information into the three minute pitch. And I think, uh, or 10 pounds of information into a three, three minute pitch, whatever, however you want to put it. But I thought the slides were very busy and the pace was fast to the point that as an investor, I couldn't quite understand what it was. The structure was good. I mean, you started with the problem and just looking at my notes here, you went on to your competitive advantage and then your team. So, I mean, that structure is good, but the slides were busy enough. Like I saw competitive advantage and then I saw hippo and I said, well, what's hippo? <laughs> and then, you know, a lot of the things there. So I really thought that if you made the slides a lot simpler, especially some of the graphs, the bar graphs you have, some of the other things I look at it and I'm trying to focus on it and, you know, Three seconds later, you're on to another slide before I can really process that. So I would try to make it a lot simpler, kind of use the structure of, you know, I understood that you had the IoT devices like the smart smoke detectors, but maybe more of a story at the beginning of, you know, more of a before and after looking at that of why, why that problem is and how it's solved more into that instead of, because people aren't going to be able to process those graphs and the charts uh, within three minutes. Uh, so I would, you know, try to simplify that a lot, a lot more. Uh, also, and this just might be a personal preference. You had fades in between the slides. And I think on zoom, I don't like to use fades because on a low bandwidth connection, it just looks kind of fuzzy. So I think you just go from slide to slide without that transition. Uh, yeah, but I think, I think if you simplify it, kind of keep the structure, uh, but just focus on the key points without showing graphs that people can't process within a few seconds and then just try to slow it down so you don't seem so rushed. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot better when, when you do that. But uh, I, I like the concept. I like the structure and you know, looking forward to seeing a, a revised version. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Rick. And let me move on to Massimo since both Michael and Rick just touched on slides. 
Uh, Mohammed Massimo has an extreme uh, eye. I don't know how you want to call it for the details of slides. Uh, let's see, what have you found, Massimo? Well, well, as they said, some of them were so fast that we were not even, not even I, myself, I could read them. And believe me, I can just spot mistakes on the fly, but I could not. Well, first of all, congratulations, because it's very rare that somebody comes here in the first, first pitch with such beautiful slides. So one job is already done. Being beautiful doesn't mean they are perfectly fit for the purpose, though. Meaning what we say, not me, somebody else, but this is a perfect second deck of slides, meaning the ones that you give to the investors. For the pitch, as everybody has said already, you should have simplified versions because we, well, people looking at them have no time to read through them and uh, you are the one telling the story, telling the reasoning behind them. So they are just there to either help you or help the viewers to understand the concept but absolutely keep the slide are a perfect as a, as a second deck for the investors and for the speech just simplify them but again very beautiful professional coherent colors icons very very beautiful again it's not common to see such beautiful slides on the content of them i just got a couple of um, let's say very technical things like white label, hardware, software, blah, blah, blah. I'm a software engineer, no big deal. But investors maybe are not really familiar with what a white label is. So either you don't use it or use something else uh, as what they really are. Then to me, I was expecting you to tell me, well, we have to talk about Apple, Google, Amazon. They already have IoTs and their own network of you know, how to handle them. So are you going to cooperate with them or you are going on competition with them? Then it's a different thing, right? Because you're not the first one offering IoT devices kind of connected, right? So, and the market is already pretty busy. So I would like to know if you're competing with them or cooperating. And um, what else? Uh, yeah. Even though you said it at the beginning, to me it was not perfectly clear which problem you're trying to solve. I mean, if you're trying to make saving money on the insurance using IOTs, or or it was not totally clear because I was trying to follow everything. It really was too much information and I couldn't really have the time to grasp all of it. But I think this is a mm, tremendous, beautiful starting point as a first speech. So I would really like to see the next one because it's a, it's a great starting point. Thank you. Uh, Thank can you. I answer your mm -hmm. about competition? Yes. Uh, yeah. We are uh, not trying to compete with uh, a smart home vendor or insurance companies. HIPO uh, as a new waves of uh, modern insurance companies provide a, a comprehensive solution of uh, from claim policy and the smart home devices to the customer. However, we are trying to uh, make uh, this opportunity for every insurance to connect with uh, each, every uh, hardware and get data to improve their risk. Thank you. Okay. 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 Thank you. All right, all right. So before we move on to Nathan Scotty and also our guests here today, I would like to try something totally new, something we haven't done yet. And that is to ask Mohammed to go through the pitch one more time before we go through further feedback. But this time, imagine you just met an investor on an airplane. You don't have slides and you don't have a script, but you only have two minutes until the plane lands. So two or three minutes, whatever. So if you're up to this, Mohammed, we are the investor sitting next to you on an airplane. What are you working on? What's your great idea? Yes, uh, we provide IoT as a service for property insurance companies, for insurer, 
we improve risk management by using data to save money and time. And for the insured, we provide a smart home vendor uh, with incentives. And there is a huge market in this uh, sector. And uh, we are not insurance companies and we are not a smart home vendor. We are only try to democratize IoT uh, based services for insurance companies and make them available uh, and use data in order to improve risk management. No, How did you come up with this idea? Got, and is, what's, what's your background? Uh, my expertise in electrical engineering and software computer, computer science. And you just thought about this in what way? How did this come to you? Uh, come to how, you. How, how, yeah, how, how did you decide that this, this was something that was necessary and you got an interest and you started the interest to build it? What interested yes, yes. you in, in doing this? Uh, actually, let, let me elaborate a little about that. Uh, actually, I'm working more than 15 years in the uh, insurance industry in the Middle East, and uh, I found, based on my experience, I found that this is one of the uh, problems in the insurance companies, to sell home insurance and to connect the home insurance to the smart home devices. This is the main problem. Uh, we tried to uh, build this startup, and uh, we 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 met each other in in uh, in a uh, uh, in an international fair, and after that, we tried to build this startup with IoT systems. Okay, okay. So I think we have just uh, witnessed something very, very interesting that once you get, you let go of the slides and of your script, all of a sudden, it's something totally different that comes out. So let me continue the round of feedback with Scotty. Scotty, what kind of feedback do you have to the first and second version of this pitch? Yeah. No, Michael, you asked my favorite question, which was great. Okay. So, so in both pitches, the second one was much more engaging. I don't know if you could see, but everybody's body language changed just a little bit because it's like, what, who are you and why, you know, why are you doing this? Why are you and your team doing this? So it was really great to hear input from you and another team member. Um, for for the first one and a little bit in the second one, you know, speed isn't speed can be an issue. So you did slow down more in the second one because you had to speak extemporaneously. But I would advise you when you go back to listen to this, try to listen for the vocal variation in people's speech patterns, because that's really how um, we communicate, and especially in English. There's the music of the language. With the, with the length and loudness over different words and different scoops of words. And that's how we know it's important to you as the founder, you as the founders. And we can then intuit more about what the business is and what you're trying to do. Um, the, in both pitches, when you, when you w went to say, we are not this, right? Um, we are, oh, where do I have it here? Um, uh, uh, tell me again, we, we are not a software company. We yes. are not an insurance company. That helped me understand more about what you're trying to be, the, the interface that you're trying to focus on. Your, your co-founder said it a little bit more succinctly. Like, how did you come up with this? How did you identify the problem? And how do we as potential investors know that you are the team to solve this? And that's where it got interesting. It was a little too noisy in the background. So, you know, um, that that's something that that you can work on. Um, and it, I guess primarily the speed, why you? And also, I'm glad I wasn't the only one. I thought it was because maybe I'm not awake. I woke up a little bit late this morning. But, you know, it, there was too much information in the first version. The second one was much more simplified. So you left us wanting to ask you more questions about it now. And that's really your goal of a three minute pitch. Top line, you just want to spoon feed enough information to get people to come and say, hmm, I might be interested to invest. And you also ask for partners. 
right? You're looking for early adapters and, and partners. So that was really good that you got to the ask in the first one. There wasn't a, a, an ask in the second one, but that was fine because the question was, tell me about what you do. So hmm. I, would, I would focus more on the, the airplane pitch <laughs> or the elevator pitch um, as, your, as your first set of hooks for us and come back and do it again. And again and again, it is an iterative process and you'll find each time it's really valuable. It was great, thank you. Thank you, Excellent. thank you. Thank you very much, Scotty. And moving on to Nathan, what kind of feedback do you have for our presenter today? Thank you. And I don't wanna repeat anything that anybody else has said. I really like that, that uh, Scotty just brought up the main goal of these short pitches is not to just dump us uh, all this information on us, but to just get more time, elevate the interest. So the three things that I have is it was obvious to me you had no plan when, when Claudio said, okay, let's just chuck the script, let's just chuck the slides, go. So that's a very important realization for you today is that you need to have a basic plan in your head so that when you're at a networking event or you're standing at a table getting some food and somebody leans over to you and says, hey, what, what's, that, uh, in, what's that on your badge there in Shermatics? What is that? And then you can do your very simple 10, 15, 20 second kind of pitch or even 30 seconds without it sounding like a pitch, but getting them to say, oh, that's very interesting. I'd like to know more about that. Or I have no interest in insurance. Thanks for telling me about it. But can I tell anybody about you that I know? And you say, sure. So you need a plan. And that could be one of those things that you take away from perhaps preparing for the next three minute. When you have that ready with your slides and your script, then throw that away for a moment and do what Claudia just had you do again, with us or without us. Mm -hmm. uh, two, two more suggestions. One is I didn't feel like you were breathing properly your breath seemed to be like just enough to get the next sentence out and just enough to get the next sort of words out. And the combination of breathing more down into your abdominal cavity and perhaps even standing would make you present with more passion, more energy. Most people in this virtual world are just sitting and presenting without realizing that quite a bit of their energy is getting zapped away because they're compressing their abdominal cavity and they can't even breathe properly. It's one of the reasons I use a backless chair so that I can sit up when I am sitting and presenting, very rare. But when you walk into a live room, you don't normally sit down and present. So maybe standing could give you that extra edge that you might need to bring out more of, of you. Thank you, come back again. Yes. Thank you so much. I agree yeah. with you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Nathan. And we have three people on here that have been in your shoes before, Mohammed. Uh, Debbie, she's been pitching one of the first presenters here at Pitch in the Zone. And he has been attending many, many of our meetings. She's part of our family. So Debbie, what kind of feedback do you have for Mohammed? Um, I think a lot was said. I thought the slides were fantastic too. Um, the one thing, it was it was a little confusing because I read a lot every day about IoT and I've seen you know insurance technology startups and things and I couldn't quite grasp exactly everything. Um, so I think that would be resolved with you know the suggestions of shortening the slides and things like that. But um, it seems like it's you know definitely has potential. Um, I had a friend in the past who wrote a, an app for um, like for insurance to go out and do like the insurance um, inspections and things. And she ended up selling it to AIG for a really good amount. So, the, so she built something and sold that to the insurance company. So um, I don't know if that's something you're looking for to, you know, or if you're trying to just meet with a lot of them, but um, she she did it right because she had a, a mobile application she wrote and sold it so you know it's kind of in, it's an interesting area for sure so good luck to you and look forward to hearing your next one thank you thank you debbie and moving right along to hi hi ban you also have been one of the early early people pitching here at pitch in the zone 
Uh, it's always great to see you coming back. Welcome back. And what kind of feedback do you have for Mohammed? Yeah, thank you. You know, it's good to see everyone still here. Uh, and just want to say happy holiday to everybody. All um, right. Um, <laughs> Uh, I, 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 yeah, I haven't been here for a while, but uh, it just uh, for this one specifically, I, I thought, you know, it's maybe got to do with Middle East or something. So maybe, you know, talk about that. And that's the industry that you want to talk it before you, you can, you know, make this work for everybody. I don't know. But uh, just, and I agree with the second pitch, you know, it's, it's important. Sound interesting. Yeah. Excellent. Th thanks. Thanks. Hi. And Wahid, I'm not sure your, your camera is not on. I'm not sure if you're actually here or not, but yes, you are. Okay. Wahid has been our presenter the last two weeks and has come in here today, uh, basically just to listen to another pitch uh, from a coach's point of view. And I'm wondering, have you noticed anything that would help Mohammed to improve his pitch that you heard today, uh, Wahid? Muted. No, you you are muted, Wahid. There. Hi. Uh, I'm just uh, listening to others and learning still. So I think everything was really good, especially uh, the slides. I really like them. Good. Excellent. Okay. Okay. And that gets me to ask you one final question for today, Mohammed. Uh, was this helpful to you? And if so, in what way? Yes, uh, the feedback I have uh, listened are very interesting for me and uh, show me my weakest spot in presenting uh, in front of uh, investor. And I'm trying to make uh, my presentation and pitch better and get back to you. Thank you. Ex excellent, excellent. I already look forward to seeing the improved pitch hop on our calendar uh, in the beginning of January. We do have a presenter next week and for the first week in January. But after that, the calendar is wide open. So if anybody that is watching this video sees this, this is where you can apply to be one of the presenters at Pitch in the Zone. And we promise to give you a safe environment to practice your pitch and walk out of here with usually a lot of feedback that will help you to improve and fine tune your pitch. And with that, I wish everybody a wonderful day morning, day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And we shall see each other again next week. Bye-bye.